In 2016, something strange happened in Havana, Cuba. American officials started hearing strange sounds. She was told, you cannot talk about any of the things that are going on here. It was a feeling of intense, painful pressure. And it was so loud that we couldn't talk. Then they had other symptoms. A loss of hearing, intense vertigo, nausea. Uh, I had a splitting headache. Uh, my tinnitus, which is ringing in my ears. Dizziness, migraines, fatigue, lightheadedness, all that stuff. Pain, the tremendous physical pain. The big U.S. agencies started looking into it. The CIA, FBI, and State Department are investigating a theory that some of these officials were injured by an unseen weapon. In the beginning, they called it the thing. Hundreds of diplomats coming forward and saying they believe they have these symptoms. These individuals appear to have sustained injury to widespread brain networks. But soon, it had a name. Called the Havana Syndrome. Havana Syndrome. Called Havana Syndrome. Havana Syndrome. The Havana Syndrome. The Havana Syndrome. There was no consensus on what was happening. Not even on if it was real, let alone, if it was real, on who could be behind it. Cases have been reported on every continent on the planet except Antarctica. My specialty area is mass psychogenic illness and social panics. Uh, Just to get straight to the point of it, I guess, does the U.S. have devices that can do this? Yes. From Project Brazen and PRX, this is The Sound, an investigative podcast on the mystery of what has become known as Havana Syndrome. Coming soon.